Oh man, this is going to be awesome in my room once I get it all set up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to look at the PlayStation 4 Slim and all of the extra accessories that I got with it. So yes, I know. Let me just say this. I'm not really a PC gamer. Uh, or a... Shit. Start over. First, let me just say that I am not a console gamer by any means. Yes, I play the PlayStation 3, and the only reason why I play the PlayStation 3 is because I have one friend that I play the game with, and that's Battlefield. Um, me and him play Battlefield 4, and it's one of my favorite games, and I still play it to this day with the guy, and me and him have a lot of fun with it, and we kick ass on that game. But, we have decided that we are going to go to the 4. So, I was like, well, I guess I gotta buy a 4. So, I bought a PlayStation 4 Slim. It's a 500 gig, but that's okay because one of the things that I bought to go with it is a 1 terabyte external hard drive that fits on top of the PlayStation. And then, of course, you're going to need a charging control. So, I bought a hub, right, that charges two controllers at one time. Um, I bought the second controller. It'll be here soon because I can't just have one controller sitting there. It'll, it'll bother the shit out of me. Um, also are these, these are pretty cool. These right here are uh, 3D printed feet. You see how it, it holds the PlayStation up off the ground? That's what these were for. And then this is a cooling fan system. Here's the box for it. See how it says it's a cooling fan? It attaches to the rear back part of the PlayStation. And as you can see it has fans and stuff and it just power on off and it just clips to the back and what it does is it helps suck some more air out of it um, hopefully it increases performance we'll find out and then also to expand the connectivity on the front of the PlayStation we bought this expandability hub um, basically what it does is it turns your PlayStation can you see it it turns your typical two ports into four ports on your PlayStation so I thought that that was pretty cool and then last but not least, we bought this. All right, now I know what you're thinking. It's a laptop cooler, I know, but it's an RGB laptop cooler, but we're gonna use it to put the, the PlayStation on top of. Here, I'll give you guys a good look at it. This thing was expensive. It was like 40 bucks for this. But, I mean, that's what you get when you want the black and the RGB and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's um, let's open the PlayStation, see what it looks like, and then let's put all this stuff on it and see what it looks like then. Let's see here. I've already kind of opened it. Well, not opened it, I just kind of popped the seal on it to make it a little easier for me. Alright, so let's see here. Whoop. There we go. What's that? Those are headphones. Those are Sony branded headphones. That's interesting. Look at that. See, it has the PlayStation symbol on them. That's cool. Did your PlayStation 4 come with headphones? Ah, we got a new controller. That looks boss. Set that over there. Looks like we got some cords, power cord, video cord, HDMI cord, set that over there. We'll see here, how do I get the system out? There we go. Yeah, all right. Those are just like plastic feet and stuff. We'll put that back in there. Okay, let me uh, set it down. Right on top of this. Alrighty. Nice. Yeah, I would say that that's definitely a 
what is it I think it goes this way right yeah so I guess it sits like that is that how it goes cool well let's plug up all the connectivity crap and see what it looks like all right so the fan it mounts on the back here and clips into the back like that all right so now that's installed that was easy um, we need the power cord for that which I'll get in a minute um, let's put on the the front hub because well we kind of need that Damn, they make everything freaking theft child proof let's see here alrighty there's that hey there it is oh got it upside down there we go okay so how does this go on Let's see here. Now, I was going to buy a 5, but I'm, like I said, I'm not that big into it, and I wasn't about to spend $500 on a console that I would probably never use that much. Plus, my friend that we were going to play, that I'm playing with, he ain't going to come off $500. So there you go. So now that sits like that. That sits like that in the back. Um, let's install the feet. So these are the little feet that, uh, let's, open let's open these up. So you can see that these have been 3D printed. Yeah, they even sound like they've been 3D printed. Uh, but I believe the way that they go is they, they clip in like that. So it just kind of clips in like so, and it comes with feet too, so you can attach uh, you can attach rubber to them, so that way they don't slide around. Which that will be something we will be doing. Let's put the feet on it. Okay, so you can actually see the feet on the PlayStation now. See how it holds it up off the ground and allows that air gap to be there? That's perfect. That's just what we need. Okay, next thing to do is install the one terabyte hard drive on top. Alright, so we got the one terabyte drive. There we go. That. Let's see here. Let's just kind of set it there, and then let's, let's see what else is in the box. Nothing. Come on, there has to be something else in here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Power cable and then a data transfer cable and then I saw a little plastic feet somewhere I'm not sure where those went but uh, let's install it so the drive is just flat and it's supposed to just sit right there on the front of it and then you just plug in the USB to the back and then the power to the back and you go from there now there's one more thing left, and that is this. This is the the RGB cooling pad that we got for the PlayStation. So it will sit like that. And then because of the feet we got, the PlayStation will sit like that with all of its pretty modifications to it. 
Let's plug it in and see what it looks like. Wow. Man, that thing looks great. Look at all the RGB on it. Now can you see why I wanted it like this? This thing looks cool. Here, hold on, let's turn the lights off. Oh, shit. Oh, man. This is going to be awesome in my room once I get it all set up. Oh, hell yeah. Plus, it has like five different lighting modes and different changes. Um, I kind of like that, though. That looks cool as shit. Hell yeah, make sure to leave me a like. Make sure to subscribe. And you guys should also share this on Facebook. The PlayStation 4 Slim. And then my butt goes and upgrades it. Here, let me show you guys something real quick. As you can see, I've been working on the room again. Um, we got rid of the desk that we're in here, which we're going to do a video on that as well. But we're working on it. Figured I'd give you guys a little information on that, uh, on that external hard drive there. That is a 7200 RPM. It is a 64 megabyte cache. It's a Western Digital branded hard drive in there. And it's USB 3.0. And it should work just fine for these applications because I'm really only going to play one or two games. That's just for overkill unless I decide to get kind of crazy with it. But, yep. That was just my quick showing of the PlayStation 4 and then all the cool little gimmick stuff that I got with it. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, got something to say? Drop a comment. Bye, guys.